Hello, I'm Grant from Makers Vlog and we've got more on free energy. So, Elon Musk, great guy, always liked him. Um, if you've followed any of the stuff that, he, that uh, they're currently doing, um, one of them is a Hyperloop, I believe that's the name of it. Essentially, a train surf system that will circumnavigate the globe or, or, or thereabouts. And um, it's essentially a, a, a tube that's... Um, a vacuum and the train goes using um i can't remember what it's actually using as propulsion can't remember but regardless this is this is related to free energy or a free energy idea um there is a scientist whose name i cannot remember has been working on a free energy device based on a thing called a hydro vac i had to check my notes there and essentially what that is um, if you look at it, it'll look something like this. And then we'll call that Alpha and we'll call that Bravo. And in here, you would put a wee fan or generator of some shape or form. And here would be a small amount of water. Now, um, inside this this chamber um, would be evacuated, so it would be a vacuum. And if you know, as the pressure decreases, the boiling point of water increases. I believe I'm getting that right. I'm pretty, pretty, that's what this is based off. So I hope I'm right. Um, but this is not my idea. This is this is his idea, and I want to talk about it in detail. So what will then happen is the um, the gas, the, the, the steam, from a better word, the water vapour will then fill the entire area. And what you then do is you would then cool this side down to, um, I believe he said it was 50 degrees, minus 50 degrees um, Celsius. And what happens then is the water vapour rapidly condenses. And then the other water vapour that's in the rest of the chamber then rushes forward to fill that void. It condenses and, and it continues. And that motion is what turns the generator. That's the theory. And he, he has built a uh, mock device, similar something shaped to this, uh, where he, he proved that, that theory that it worked. Now, I haven't researched in great detail, so I don't know whether this experiment has been repeated. Um, but based off that, there was another YouTuber, uh, Thunderfoot, who said that this could be used as a as a free energy device, and that's what it is marketed as, as a free energy device. It's not. And quickly, clean energy is not free energy. Clean en energy is any energy source that does not put any pollutants into the air, or very minimal. So uh, solar power is clean because it's powered from the sun, it's something that's happening out there, we have no control over it, we're not burning any fossil fuels to make it, it's solar power. Same with the wind, wind turbines, they are clean energy. Now, strictly speaking, that's still solar because wind and tides and all that stuff, that's, that's a whole other topic, but wind is clean energy, um, as is uh, hydroelectric energy, I believe I'm saying that right, the dams that then um, allow the water flow and the water flow then creates uh, motion in the turbines and that generates electricity. That is all clean energy, it is not free. Free energy is any um, energy generator that is making power from nothing. So, um, I said before, a perpetual motion machine, which doesn't doesn't work. Um, you have a, a a wheel that you can spin and it spins forever, and you put a generator on it and that creates electricity. That is not that that is not possible, and that is free energy. It's you're making electricity from nothing. But as far as a clean energy source goes, yeah. If, if this is a viable um, experiment and works, then yeah, definitely. However, Thunderfoot had said that they could use Elon Musk's um, hydro... No, not hydro. Hydro is the thing, the, the Elon Musk's um, train system. Um, the name evades me, I said it earlier on. And you could use that to have a vacuumed tunnel from the Arctic, where it is uh, obviously quite cold, 
and to the sea where there is a lot of water and you could gather the water and there you've got a form of a hydrovac and this is brilliant this is not burning any fossil fuels and the key point the key point that he said that I want, that I want to talk about is he said it would end global warming now it's not free because you are still expending energy to make that conversion from the water into steam and the steam back into um, back into water. The issue there is cold is an absence of energy. It's a symptom of having no energy. If you have this train system, this vacuumed tube um, going back and forth between the Arctic and a body of water and it's cooling across, that um, cooling process will warm up the Arctic. That will heat the Arctic, that will melt the ice. So yes, it is clean, but it's still gonna melt the poles and cause flooding and all the problems that global warming was going to have anyway. So that doesn't quite work um, as far as the Arctic goes. Now there, there may be ways and means around it um, using other methods, but the, the, the method that he specified of using the Arctic and the, uh, the ocean has problems of its own in that it's going to melt them. So there you go. Clean energy, it's not free, 